thermostat sensor? Anyways, another one for the gauge. So you take disconnect that harness, that harness isn't used anymore. You put that one. You got one wire going to your electric fan, one wire going to your ground, and then you got uh, wires going to your relay kit. This is my relay kit. Uh, then you got one wire going to switch ignition. And then you have one wire going to a positive all the time. Actually, the positive all the time goes to your circuit breaker. And then it goes to your uh, power all the time battery. So, yeah. Also, just found this out. I don't know what this fucking box does. But this box has a green connector. And the wiper relay, well, the wiper thing has a white connector. But, um, yeah, I reason why my wipers weren't working, I guess, is because they were inversed. I don't know what the fuck that box does, but uh, yeah, it definitely wasn't working. And I found that out when I went out to one of my other harness. Actually, okay. this is the engine harness for, wait, engine? This is engine. Just a second. Uh, no, this is the body chassis side harness, which goes from... A little box fuse box here normally it goes to a fuse box here but it, uh, this one is the new fuse box and it's for your headlights so it's like we'll call it the headlight and alternator harness uh, this is an evil 5 engine wire harness this is the evo 123 harness inside the engine bay for the for the engine that connects uh, this here to that and this is the body harness to the midsection harness and this would be the exact same harness as this one just this one's been cut a bit because it was missing stuff this whole harness and this one is for the rear tail lights and stuff so yeah good thing anyways uh, what I was saying is I had this little box here and I'm like hey that's the green connector okay what the fuck and boom white connector is not plugged into the little box <laughs> So I'm like, okay, let's go check it out. And I fixed it. So yeah. Working on that. So basically when my car gets to 195 temperature, 175. Anyways, once it gets to operating temperature, I think it's 185. The fan turns on. And then once it gets to 175, fan turns off. Automatically. Isn't that sick? I think so. So I'm uh, just fixing the uh, shit. Plugged up these two uh, BMW horns. So one there, one there. Um, rooting all my harness, making sure it's nice and tight. So if the next owner wants to go hella flush with it. And yeah, it's got the everything going good. I still need to put the dash. I'm not sure which dash I want to put. The dash where I can put the gauges, or the dash from the Drift Evo, which has, it's a mint dash. Yeah. And these are rally art seats, which I welded the brackets from, well, I rearranged the brackets from the rally art seat to fit the holes. And that's it for now. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm fixing up this spaghetti, I'm wiring up the horn, which is this one here. Yep. Alright, so I installed the new handbrake cable on this side. I gave a little bit of undercoating. Uh, yeah, I oversprayed a bit. Nothing a little sandpaper won't fix. Spray painted the caliper red. Installed the new handbrake cable. Gave the car a little undercoating on this side. Gotta do the other side still, but uh, yeah. Looking mint. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be really brand new when I sell this thing. Kind of pissed about that. Oh well. So we got a little uh, paint booth action going here. Uh, my dad set that up. I'm probably gonna change that. Yeah, we got the heater going. Getting this uh, room up to temperature. Got the floors all nice and wet. I washed out the whole garage. No more dust anywhere. Should be pretty good. Shows. 
So we got the uh, two bumpers, fenders, we got the wing painted, we got the hood painted black. Just giving the rest of the, the car a little, little look. Then uh, we're gonna spray paint the, we'll paint the rest. All right, guys. So Evo is painted black. Science skirts. I didn't even sand these. <laughs> Take off the stickers that were on it because the guy's gonna be getting Evo three side skirts. So I'm like, whatever. Hood turned out good. Roof turned out good. Still needs a wet sand and a buff, as you guys can see. Like the light's not uh, super ref well. It's reflective, but I mean, this turned out super well. I just started working on the Evo, putting it back together. Got the headlights on. I actually broke the other headlight over there, so I had to go steal this one off the drift car. I'm kind of pissed about that. Also, I got this new uh, hood light. Got the winter mags on. Still need to, to buff out the all the windows. Evo 8 wing. I think she's looking, she looking real mean. Just missing a little Evo 3 body kit. Front bumper, side skirts. Well, it's got the Evo 1 side skirts there. And the Evo 3 rear lip. Uh, the window window guards, rain, rain or wind thing. I don't know what I'd call that. Corner, uh, amber corners, maybe some black headlights. Black uh, housing headlights. I'd upgrade the front mount intercooler kit if I was the next owner. Strut bar, uh, rear strut bar, H brace. Maybe upgrade the brakes to some Willwoods. Get two nice bucket seats with it. I mean, for a daily driver slash race car, pretty okay. Yeah, it's the headlight I broke. I just put it on that small ass table there. Went to do some other shit, and then I hear smash on the floor. <sighs> I was kind of pissed because I thought I had a spare one in the, in the shed, but I don't. So maybe Pizarski has it. And uh, the two spares that I had were for Subarus. Subaru. So, so anyways, the the. The lens almost looks the same, like it would come off and put on there. So I might try that, but probably not. Sarski would like to have this as a vent. <laughs> so we cap all this off. Got a big hole there. Got a vent coming out there. Yeah. Also, corner light was busted inside. I don't know how that happened. But I had a spare one, it's on there right now. And yeah. So uh, I got my wipers working. So it was just basically <laughs> this wire was inverted with this one. And I found what wire goes to the horn. I tried running the horn before. Um, basically, the way I had it set it up, was two BMW horns and I put the ground and then I thought like the steering column would bring positive to it but it's actually the opposite so there's always positive going to this so I had to run my the original wire that I ran a negative to it instead I put it to a positive which is that I'll show you the fuse <clears throat> this is my uh, this one right here in my... all right that's a little better so basically this is a positive all the time. It's my new fuse box that I made for a bunch of different things. Uh, this fuse right here, 10 amps, is for my radio constant, uh, well, radio battery, I mean, which I don't know why I didn't have one in my harness here. Anyways, uh, and my horn button, positive. Subaru, right? Okay. Blow into the breathalyzer and still until I say stop. I have my own vape. What build is it? What flavor? How much nicotine? <laughs> Are you recording?
Yeah, I'm recording. Yeah. I like that picture where it says, help a trooper out, uh, make him work on his squats and lower a car or something. <laughs> All right, yeah. so this is for my own... Uh, Here, this is something a lot of people Black is brown. To. This one is red. And this one is mm. yellow. Without breaking any of your tranny. Leaving Texas 2K without breaking your tranny. Jesus. <laughs> so this is what I meant by like you have the light bar inside the car. Sick. All right, so wiring harness pretty much done. <sighs> yeah, wipers work, horn works. It's all good. It's all right, all right, all right. So I'm just bleeding out the system. Uh, found a little leak here. Uh, this is on an intercooler piping that wasn't uh, tied down here. Fan's working with a fan relay kit. Sounds nice and mint. Not overheating or anything. Can't really see that just a second. All right, so since I didn't hook up these two wires, that's why the dash won't turn on. So yeah, it's not overheating. It actually auto shut off at 175 degrees and turn back on at 185. So it's gonna should run nice and, and cold. I got nice hot air underneath here. See my fuse box is still accessible from the dash. Uh, this isn't bolted in right <laughs> right now. Uh, yeah, boost gauge. It's reading. It's reading well right now. Sounds good. Nice and neat. Nice and mean. And one tail works. Wait. Yeah, one tail light works. The other one's burnt. I guess. Well, what's really important? License plate lights, they work good.